is what it's all about, guys. Big old channel catfish in the early spring slash late winter. Exactly. What's going on, cattermen and catterwomen? Holy crap, bro! That's a big oh, one. That's a big one. What the? What's going on, cattermen and catterwomen? Hey! And those of you who are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. My name's Kevin, the Catterman, and I do all kinds of cool fishing for catfish off of kayaks and from the shoreline as well. I also surf fish for sharks, sometimes even on a kayak. <laughs> Follow the card up below if you don't believe me. And today we're going to focus on channel catfish and fishing for them in water that's below, that's right, 50 degrees. So when the water gets cold, these fish are really trying to look for stunned shad if they're in your water body, smaller bait fish, crayfish, worms, um, but their metabolism slows down so you're not going to get as many bites unless you have a couple of days where the water warms up. Let's say it goes from being 37 or 38 degrees, it's in the winter time, now you get a couple hot days it's up to like 44, 45 degrees. Excellent time to target these channel catfish. Now as bait today, we're gonna to be using gizzard chad, but if you don't have gizzard chad, that's fine. Uh, I recommend using anything from white perch to eel, like American eel if you can get your hands on that. Mullet will work too if you can get your hands on that at the fishmonger. And uh, moon eye is a really good one too. But here's the thing, let's say you can't get your hands on anything oily like that. Maybe you just have sunfish in your area or uh, shell crackers or whatever the heck they call them in your area. If you buy, let's say, and this is link number one down below, a big thing of bunker oil or menhaden oil from Amazon, and this is not, you don't even need to refrigerate it, which is great. Just take those sunfish, catch a couple the day before you go fishing for channel cats here and chop them up, you know, into nice little chunks and put the chunks into a Ziploc bag. I recommend removing the fins and add a little bit of this oil and just mesh it around, mush it around in there a little bit, let it sit in the refrigerator like that, and that oil will get into the meat, and it'll make that bluegill stand out even more in the water. Now for hooks, we're using six odd mustad circle hooks. That's link number two down below. We're using little cigar floats, so it's a Santee Cooper rig they call it in the industry, which is uh, having a bobber two to three inches up from the hook, so it'll kind of make the bait float. It's more in the strike zone. Line, I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon line as my main leader line, then 40 pound monofilament, any type will work as a shock leader, then 30 or 40 pound Daiwa J8 braid, that's link number three down below. Let's make sure I keep track of my links. <laughs> and anyways, that is going on rods, all different kinds of rods, so I'm not gonna recommend to you which ones I'm using right here. I will recommend to you link number four, four. A Dick Sporting Good Surf Rod from the company Daiwa that's really good for channel cat fishing, even for blue cat fishing, maybe even flatheads too. And as the reels, I really recommend the Akuma Avenger size 40 for channel catfish. That's link number five down below. Anyways, let's hop right into the fishing. So we're using these small chunks of bait. We're fishing deep water here today. We're fishing around structures. You can tell there's rock pilings, everything like that, dock, uh, dock posts. And we're really trying to hit water that's up to anywhere from like 20 foot deep on a ledge going down from the shallows into the depths. That's a good spot if the water's been warming up the last couple of days. And we're also fishing the deepest part right there, straight out the, in the river channel, which gets up to 45 feet deep. Now, every single time a fish bites here, I'm going to let you know what depth it bit in. And the water temperature for today is 45 degrees as we're fishing for these channel catfish. And we're just throwing out these small chunks of bait. Anyways, let's get to fishing. Let's have a great time, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave that thumbs up.
Is that a broken reel? No, look how far my footprint went in. Oh, I know. This one has had a bite. There we go. He's got it. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Perfect little hook. What a beautiful fish too. You know people think channel cats look really gross? No, they're not that disgusting actually. Lift them out of here. This is what it's all about guys. Big old channel catfish in the early spring slash late winter. Catch photo release. Is he on? Can you to butt? There we go, bro. All right, now let's get shallow over here so we can get some underwater footage. Dude, he's, he's pulling a lot of drag. He's fighting. Is he? Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, he's just staying. Are you even getting him in? Yeah, he's coming. Slowly, huh? Yeah, you gotta, especially around this. Now watch out, yeah. There we go, guys. That's what we do for you guys. We like to be a little bit creative. Have some nice transitions. Now that's it. Dude, these are all sizable fish. These are all at least like... Yeah, most of them are. <laughs> yeah. No, wait up. These, these pliers are great. Look how easy that hook came out. That's why I love using circle hooks. He actually fought you pretty good too. Now let's see how the other rods are looking. I think the white rod's getting tapped. Gotta let this guy go. There he goes. Let's get another one. I think he's on that. Yes, yeah, serve reeling, serve reeling, serve reeling. Keep him in the right hole with serve reeling. Is he on? Okay, stop. He's not on. No, he's not. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, just let it drop back down. Reeling a little bit of that slack. Yeah, perfect. Good, good. Yeah, somebody, and see, that's why we leave a little bit of slack, guys, so they can actually do that and we can watch that slack move. Now, of course, you can't really do that where there's a lot of current, but since it's colder, these fish are hiding right behind that big structure out of the current, and that's where we're catching these guys, right in that corner, so you can see where the current break is. You don't want to cast directly into the current, you want to cast right on the side of it, where they're out of it. There we go, guys, that's just exactly how I like to hook them, right there, from the bottom of the mouth, out through the nose. Yeah, see that, that pyramid sinker kept it, right there in the spot where the strike zone was, and that's why he picked it off. Oh, it smells so disgusting. It's so great. I love it. Oh, I almost had him. That's the problem when they swim towards you. Uh, yeah, he swam right towards us. I couldn't even hook him. What the frick? That was weird. All right, guys. Yeah, sometimes they're going to swim towards you, and then you just you'll lose them or miss them. Um, oh, we got some leaves on here. That's probably why. Is that rod getting picked at right there? 
Looks kind of weird. Yeah, watch that slack on there for a sec. I think I saw something. Oh, absolutely, dude. You're way better than you used to be. I mean, you still suck. Don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> JK. I can't do this on my own. I, don't, I think you don't want to. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to touch the fish. <laughs> See? So as long as you go fishing with me, you will not have to touch any I fish. I it myself for a reason. <laughs> Keep the right side Yep. Is he on? Dude, that actually looks pretty decent. Oh, yeah, remember, don't go too far down. Don't horse him too much. Exactly. Play him and feel him. Because if he starts pulling too hard, or is that a smaller fish? Are you sure? Yeah, he's swimming upriver too, dude. Dang. And if he got snagged up, because I know there's a little tree over there, then just let, wait, let me grab the underwater camera. Oh, we're scrambling, guys. Dang. Man, I love how the reflective tape looks on that rod, though. Looks really nice. Yeah, there we go, buddy. Oh. They're all nice. Oh, watch out. He's, he's stuck by, by a little thread of skin. I don't want to. All right, buddy. Come here. Another nice channel cat. Oh, yep. There you go. See? Popped right off. Hey, buddy. Actually, you know what? You want to hand me the... the... Feels pretty cold, but he's actually pretty energetic. Poor guy. Huh? Yeah, he did. Oh, we still got the bait too? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Just got to recast. That's it. That's awesome. Nice job, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to use this rock. We got the heart over here. Or oh, this is actually what they call the gizzard. This like weird little thing in here, this round thing. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> it's time for a gizzard shad taste and lunge while Andrew catches all the fish. Look how fat this dude is, man. He's got like, <laughs> holy crap, man. Oh, he's full of air, yeah. Now, let's see. I mean, guys, look at this. He's a pot belly catfish. <laughs> Isn't he? You see that? Wow, man. I don't know. I, I'm kind of worried about just letting him go because if he's really full of air, I don't know, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to find out that hard. I mean,. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Let's let him swim. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he was just well fed. <laughs> he was fat and well fed. And you know what? Let's see if we can catch a third fish on this piece of bait because I feel like we can. Here, can. let me see. All right. All right, here we go. And now this time, I'm actually going to hook the bait like... Lumpy. Dude, he was fat. Really, <laughs> really fat. Wow. Oh, go straight down. You see how deep it gets in there too? As you can see how the fence goes straight down. Yeah. This used to be a hot spot for American shad, striped bass in the springtime, and now it's carp and walleye and some bass. I want to grab the underwater cam. Oh, this one actually feels really decent. Is it on? Yep. You can aim a little bit further down in the water. Yeah, there we go. See? Just make sure that that lid doesn't hit the top of the water. Yeah. Nice channel cat. What a beauty. He's got what? Burp. Oh, did he burp? Let him burp. Let him burp. Yeah, let him burp. This is the perfect one to show to the camera, too, because he's really nice and light. Small but fat. Oh god, he's cold. Wow. He's really cold. That's cool. We 
did our lucky catfish call. We did our lucky catfish call, and now we're gonna, gonna feed this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed him a little bit. Should eat. Just make sure I don't scrape his, his trachea up. There we go. Oh yeah, look at him. He's like happy and thankful too. What the heck, guys? I just picked up this rod and there's a fish on there. I didn't even realize it. Like it wasn't even moving. Yeah, it's a freak. What the freak? The rod wasn't even moving, man. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Ooh, he's hooked. Oh, he's hooked perfectly in the side, too. It's like getting super windy over here, too. Ooh. I love these little ones. They look so, so nice. He got the bait, too. Ooh. Is there fish on there? Does it feel nice? Really? That's a really green one. He's very colorful, man. <laughs> uh, it's interesting how some of them are white, some of them are red, some of them are, are green, yep, blue. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> gotta let him go. All right, Pookie. Wait, no, redo that footage. It looked like I was looking at your butt. Are you checking out my butt? No. I'll be looking hella fine. <laughs> yep. Oh. Got the underwater camera. White perch, dude. Look at that. We got a lot of bites real quick again. You're making me stuff in the water. I hope you know this. You're what? You're making me stuff Good job, water. bro. You're doing an excellent job. Oh, he's right over here. Oh, he's fighting a lot, actually. Wow, man. Nice. There we go, bro. Good job. All right, guys, another channel catfish. What are we at now, dude? We got a bunch of fish already. Huh? This is awesome, man. Let's see. Oh, ew. Ew, look at it. He's got all these tumors, but he's... Yeah. Hey guys, so if you see these white dots, something like that, these are all tumors under the skin. This is the reason why I don't eat any fish out of this river. Because most of them look really mangy like this. We need a new one, dude. Go back home. This is the big one of the day. He's moving very slowly. Oh, it's actually not that big, is it? Well, he just felt like being hooked like a rock. Yeah, never mind. He felt really big. He's not that big. Woo -hoo -hoo. I mean, he's not bad, though. Still a nice looking channel cat. Ah, he's too big. I can't grab him where I usually grab him. Nice, dude. His blue is very blue. All right, we're gonna feed this guy. 
Awesome, guys. Well, we're gonna let this nice channel cat go, but we're on the numbers today, man. Holy crap. <laughs> well, he's about to get fed right here, so let's feed him. That's, oh, this is probably one of the biggest one. Andrew, you caught the biggest one today, man. Holy. Woo. Dude, this is beautiful. Very cold, but beautiful. Awesome, dude. What a nice fish. And Andrew, you brought this one in all yourself, man. Wait, did we feed him? Oh, come back for food. I thought I was about to get like whacked. All right. We're going to feed this guy because he's probably pretty hungry. They don't eat much out here. No, they really do actually, but it's probably because of fishermen that they eat a lot over here. Watch him just eat my whole pliers. <laughs> there we go. We fed him. It's time to go home. <laughs> 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 Hell no. <laughs> Oh yeah, man, that's a, that's, that's a nice size channy. Oh, oh, holy, 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 wait, walk, walk back right over. You see that? You see how big that fish is? Andrew, that's one of those giant channies I told you about. Get him in the shot, dog. <laughs> holy, holy crap, holy crap. Dude, dude you see how big he is? Oh my God, that's a, holy, that's a big channy, man. This is what channel cat fishing is all about. Whoa, in the late winter, early spring. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 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 Well, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. That last big catfish of the trip was probably, like, I would say about 13, 14 pounds. It was a big mondo. And uh, that really made the trip so much more exciting. As you saw, that fish bit in the deepest hole. All the smaller fish were coming on ledges. So it could just be that the biggest fish were just hanging out, just chilling, relaxing all cool, and taking out little schools of fish after school. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about this video. Try out the Sandy Cooper rigs. Try out some small chunks of bait. And if this video helped you, let me know down below why, what you were struggling with, and just have a good time out on the water. Anyways, Catterman, Catterwomen, I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And Catterman out! <laughs>